Hey gearheads, it's OBD Codex here. Today, we're talking about the P0507 code, also known as the bucking bronco of engine trouble. It's considered a high severity issue but don't worry, you can still ride it out for a bit. But it's important to get it fixed before it throws you off for good. So, hold on tight and let's fix this wild ride together. So, what is the P0507 code? Well, it's a signal from your car's computer that something's not quite right with the idle speed. Specifically, it means that the idle speed is higher than it should be, exceeding the maximum limit set by the manufacturer. For example, in the case of GM vehicles, if the idle speed is over 200 revolutions per minute higher than expected, this code will be set. What are the symptoms of AP0507 code? The primary symptom of AP0507 code is an idle speed that's higher than normal, which can cause your car's engine to rev up and down. Additionally, the check engine light will be illuminated to indicate a problem with your car's engine management system. So, what can cause AP0507 code? One of the most common causes of AP0507 code is a vacuum leak. This occurs when there's a crack or hole in one of the hoses or pipes that connect to the intake manifold, causing air to leak out. Another common cause is a dirty or faulty throttle body. A faulty idle air control valve is also a common cause of a P0507 code. Other possible causes of the P0507 code include a faulty PCV valve, a leaking air intake after the throttle body, a failed EVAP system and a faulty EGR valve leaking vacuum. So, how do you fix a P0507 code? Start by checking for other codes and fixing them first. Next, inspect the intake air system for leaks or damage, looking for any cracks or loose connections in the hoses and pipes that connect to the intake manifold. Then, use an advanced scan tool to test the engine's response to idle commands. After that, inspect the PCV valve to see if it's blocked or dirty, and verify the operation of the IAC valve, if your vehicle is equipped with one. If necessary, swap in a new throttle body, and consider having the dealer perform an idle air relearn procedure or other relearn procedures. Well, that's it for our look at the P0507 code. Remember, the repair procedure can be a challenging task. So if you don't feel confident performing it yourself, it's always a good idea to consult a qualified mechanic or technician. And if you're experiencing other trouble codes, don't forget to check out the OBD Code X lookup tool to help you identify and diagnose the issue. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, share and subscribe button. Until next time, happy wrenching.